Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing another grocery haul. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a few weeks. Yeah, there's that. Anyway, I just went to Walmart and Aldi and let's just start with Walmart. So from Walmart, I just got two bunches of kale and that's all I got from Walmart this week. Pretty uh, simple. But the rest of this is all from Aldi. So let's just start over here with chicken. So I grabbed a little bit more than five and a half pounds of chicken and this whole container is gonna be for Trey's meal prep. And then down here I got a second container of chicken breast and it's a little lighter, like it's less, how much is it? It is four and a half pounds of chicken and this is gonna be for my meal prep and possibly for the weekend. We'll just see, but definitely for my meal prep. And then over here, I grabbed some just steamable broccoli florets. We actually ate one of these packs this weekend while Trey did. So I just grabbed another one to replace it. Then I picked up some frozen berry medley. And this I'm actually gonna, going to possibly use to flavor some homemade kefir that we're making. So I just thought it'd be fun to pick it up. And that's also the same reason I got this frozen mixed fruit just to potentially flavor it the kefir with it, so those two. And then I got two bags of frozen strawberries. I have one in the freezer right now, but also to make kefir smoothies and flavor our homemade kefir. Then over here, I picked up some rotisserie seasoned deli chicken breast. I've been enjoying having these and having sandwiches or just using these for like a quick snack when I need to run out the door to go to the gym. I just grab a few slices and go from there. And then of course I got the usual low fat cottage cheese. Trey takes some cottage cheese to work with some fruit as a snack. And then over here, I picked up two whole milk yogurts that are just peach flavored, also for Trey. Aldi surprisingly had some cantaloupe on sale and it didn't seem like it was bad. So I picked one up and we'll see how this goes. And they also had blueberries on sale. So I picked up three containers of those and I'll probably go through and wash them and pick the bad ones out because some of them looked overripe already. And then I'll freeze the rest that way they just don't go bad. Then over here I picked up some strawberry watermelon water flavoring. I don't know, I just got really suckered into this today. All because we needed some more peach tea mix. So they're right by each other. So I just, you know, got sucked in. Of course I got my usual fit and active white bread. I grabbed a big 10 pound bag of russet potatoes so I can dice these up and freeze them for Trey's breakfast in the mornings. I had some mandarins on sale so I got some more of these. And then of course every week I pick up a bag of spinach. We probably didn't need the spinach this week because we just opened the bag that I bought last week today but I grabbed another one, who cares? And then over here I picked up some canned things. So I got some pineapple chunks, a can of black beans, I got a can of chickpeas, a can of sliced carrots. That's because I actually ate the can that we had in our pantry, so I grabbed another one of those. I also ate a can of peas this week, so I grabbed another can of peas. And Trey and I just love corn, so I grabbed another can of corn. And then over here I picked up some canola oil. We just were out of that. I also picked up bananas. Of course I pick up bananas every week. Again, the water stuff got me. So I picked up this strawberry sparkling water and this peach sparkling water. They're 10 calories for the whole thing. And I haven't had any of these like flavored waters in a while. So I was like, ooh, strawberry. I feel like I've never seen that and peach is always delicious. So I just got one of each for fun. And then last but not least, this week I actually picked up a full gallon of milk, just the 1% milk, and this is what we use to make our kefir. I picked up a gallon of milk and I paid $3.61 for this, and this is what I use to make kefir. Editing Megan here, and I just wanted to let you know some cool math on this. So this whole gallon of milk is 128 ounces, so we're gonna call it 128 ounces of kefir since I convert it fully and I paid $3.61 for it. Lifeway Kefir is $3 for 32 ounces, so if I wanted 128 ounces, I'd be spending $12 on Kefir when I could literally just buy $3.61 worth of 
milk and convert it all into kefir. So I'm saving way more money by making it myself. So this is just a better deal for us since we already make our own kefir and then we can flavor it how we want, not add any sugar if we don't want to other than like the fruit that we add to it. So that's why I got a gallon of milk. Okay guys, so in total for this week, I spent $65.74. A little over budget, but that's only because the water, flavored water section really got to me this week. So it is what it is. I'm not mad about it, obviously. And yeah, so this is just what I decided to get this week at Aldi and just kale from Walmart. So yeah, mostly what I got from Aldi this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.